So let me know when to start, inshallah. You may start. Okay. Alhamdulillah. <clears throat> Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim Innaka Hamidum Majeed Amma ba'du fa'uzu billahi min ash-shaytwan ar-rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Zalikal kitabu la rayba fi hudan lil muttaqeen The topic of, of my presentation today on this blessed day of Jumatul Mubarak, I'm going to explain within my capacity, within my limitations, I'm going to explain the beauty and the depth of the Quranic Arabic. And inshallah, I'm also going to give you some examples of its beauty by giving examples of the beauty and powers and attributes of Al-Quran itself. So the attributes and powers and beauty of Al-Quran along with the beauty and the depth and the depth of the Quranic Arabic. Inshallah, that will be my broad topic for today. So I have just recited <clears throat> second verse of chapter two of Al-Quran. The verse being, Zalik al-kitabu la rayba fi hudan lil muttaqeen. This particular verse can be translated <clears throat> and I'm using the translation by Allama Nuruddin and Mr. and Mrs. Omar. Based on this translation, <clears throat> the verse of chapter, verse two of chapter two can be translated as such. <clears throat> this is the only perfect book. This is the only perfect book wanting in naught, containing nothing doubtful, harmful, or destructive. There is no false charge in it. It is a guidance for those who guard against evil, who are muttaqi. <clears throat> if you <clears throat> compare this translation of this particular verse, it is little comprehensive little much in more little bit little much in little more detail <clears throat> for example the word rab the word rab 
which is usually translated la raba fi there is no doubt in it but this word rap is a very deep word very comprehensive word it has multiple shades of meanings according to the classical arabic dictionaries of al quran and the quranic arabic Let me briefly give you the meanings here, which are basically dictionary meanings, and also those dictionary meanings have been put in this translation as well. <clears throat> it, as it says, this is the only perfect book. La reba fi, la reba fi, wanting a knot, containing nothing doubtful, harmful. Or destructive, there is no false charge in it. Not this translation is of one word, rab, rab, la rabafi. Look at the look at the depth of the meanings of one word, rab. It says, wanting a knot, containing nothing doubtful, harmful, or destructive. There is no false charge in it. All these are the meanings, dictionary meanings of the word rap. <clears throat> so this book, Al-Kitab, this perfect book, Al-Kitab, which is Al-Quran, is being explained here in the very beginning of Al-Quran. That this book, Al-Quran, is a book wanting in not containing nothing doubtful, harmful, or destructive. There is no false charge in it. These are the meanings of the word la rab. So I just want you to emphasize that how one word, Quranic Arabic word, Quranic Arabic word, how one Quranic Arabic word is so deep and so beautiful in expressing the message behind that word. I'm going to pick another word here <clears throat> in this in this chapter in this chapter two verse two. That other word I'm going to pick now is the word called the very word very first word zalika zalikal kitab zalikal kitab. So inshallah I'm going to go a little more detail. On this one word, Zalika. And if I have time, I'll pick the, I will pick up the second word, Al. After Zalika, the second word is Al, Al Kitab, Al Kitab. So, inshallah, I'm going to explain the concept of Zalika and then briefly the concept of Al, Al Kitab. Al Quran does not say Quran says Al Quran or or or, or, or doesn't say Kitab it says Al Kitab. <clears throat> so inshallah, let me pick up the very first word here. Zalika, <clears throat> Zalik Al Kitab. This word is usually translated as <clears throat> this is the book. This is the book. The question is, the word Zalika does not literally translate into this. This is the book according to the usual Arabic language. Zalika is used for that, not this. This is not the literal translation of Zalika. The literal translation of the word Zalika says that, that book. So a lot of Orientalists, a lot of people who do not fully understand the Quranic Arabic or the beauty of the Quranic Arabic or the depth of the Quranic Arabic, 
they 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 criticize they criticize the arabic of al quran and they say wrongly so wrongly so they say why have you translated the word zalika as this zalikal kitabo this is the book you should have translated this that is the book that is the book now i'm going to explain why their criticism against the quranic arabic is a misplaced criticism is a misunderstood word the word being zalika so yes this is true zalika refers to an to an object that is far away in english it is to be translated as that so zalikal kitab would mean that is the book but is normally as i mentioned is normally translated as this is the book the typical arabic word for an object that is close that is close or nearby the word arabic word is haza not zalika haza which says this hazal kitabu the, it didn't say hazal kitabu it said zalikal kitab so this is the criticism now i'm going to explain why their criticism is misplaced the criticism of the people who do not understand or who are the enemies of al islam who wants to criticize the quranic arabic they do not understand the depth of the quranic arabic or the or the meanings of zalika so i am going to give you some references here <clears throat> of the classical arabic dictionaries where they have these dictionaries have explained the meanings of zalika in different flavors different different uh in different uh, different meanings so i am using four major dictionaries here i am using the arabic language dictionary tajularus so Tajalarus is one of my dictionary I'm using to explain this word Zalika. The other dictionary I'm using is Akrab, Akrabul Mawarid. The third dictionary I'm using is the dictionary of E. W. Lane. That's a Arabic English dictionary. And the most important dictionary from my perspective which is the dictionary of all dictionaries put together that dictionary is dictionary of the holy quran by abdul mannan omar so i am basing this this meanings of the word zalika based on these with reference to these four dictionaries tajularus lane akrab and most importantly the quranic arabic dictionary by abdul manan omar as i mentioned is the dictionary which is a combination of all the classical arabic dictionaries put into one dictionary meanings being put into one dictionary by abdul manan omar please make a note this dictionary of abdul manan omar is only the dictionary of is the dictionary of only the quranic words every quranic word is used in this dictionary it's not a dictionary of the whole arabic language it's the dictionary of only the quranic arabic that's the beauty of this dictionary by abdul manan umar <clears throat> so i'm let me let me give you another verse of al quran where this word zalika has been used and then i will come back to the dictionaries the if you go to chapter chapter 3 chapter 3 verse 58 it says zalika 
natluhu alayka min al ayate wa zikr al hakim now here the word zalika has been used as that that is what we recite to you that is what we recite to you the messages and the reminder full of wisdom so thus implying that the recitation is from the most high allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what is being recited is of great dignity and wisdom let me let me give you let me give you another verse i want you my audience to fully understand that this word is not being used only once in al quran it has been used multiple times and the translation have to be within the meanings of the word zalika and and sometimes that is also a meaning but it has other, other meanings as well so as serious students of al quran we have to look at those meanings multiple meanings and see which of those multiple meanings is more relevant more appropriate to this particular situation of this of this particular word in this particular verse of al quran so that is the contribution of the great scholars of al islam they have picked the right meanings which are most appropriate meanings of that word from the multiple meanings the most important meaning more relevant meanings which are relevant to a particular verse of al quran has been picked in the translations by great scholars and great translators of al quran so i'm going to give you another word of chapter 10 chapter 10 verse 2 which says tilka tilka ayatul kitab al hakim now this word tilka is a feminine singular it is a counterpart counterpart of zalika when when the word is being the the message is being addressed regarding ayat regarding the verses they use the feminine doesn't so zalika say tilka tilka is feminine singular counterpart of zalika the use of za, uh, the use of tilka has the same signi significance already mentioned regarding the word zalika which i'm going to explain both zalika and tilka tilka is feminine Z zalika is is uh, the opposite for for uh, for for addressing uh, the masculine so zalika masculine and tilka feminine are demonstrative singular pronouns in both cases there is a subtle indication of a call by the most exalted god allah to the reader who is being personally and directly addressed to a particular book or a particular verses of the book which are high in dignity and distinction now why i am saying the word or the sentence which are high in dignity and distinction i'm not putting this sentence from my own self high dignity and distinction is the dictionary meaning one of the dictionary meanings i should say of zalika or tilka so when zalika is used or tilka is being used the message is that this is something which is of high dignity high status and distinction so dignity and distinction are the words dictionary meanings of the word zalika now let me let me give you the some other dictionary meanings 
one meaning of zalika is something which is deserving full dignity and deserving respect the other meaning is of zalika which possesses all the excellences which possesses all the excellences that a book should possess so the meaning is which possesses all the excellences that's the meaning of zalika another meaning of zalika is the the book or the thing is of honor is when when zalika is being used about something like quran or any other thing for that matter the message inbuilt message in the word zalika is this this thing is of honor and dignity so honor is another meaning of the word zalika so let me based on these classical meanings of the quranic arabic let me let me translate zalik al kitab which is as i mentioned which is usually translated as this is the book so let me translate based on that dictionary meanings of the word the first translation this is that perfect book this this is that this is that perfect book which is complete and deserving full dignity and deserving respect that's how you can translate this word zalik al kitab zalik al so look at the beauty of zalika zalika zalik al kitab this is the book that's okay that's a good translation but this is that perfect book al kitab didn't say kitab it said al kitab al kitab al is another beautiful word here al has a multiple meanings also one meaning of al is perfect the perfect book al kitab sometimes we say the particular that's also the meaning of al but another beautiful meaning of al is is a meaning of perfection it didn't say kitab it said al kitab so it's a perfect book al kitab zalik al kitab this is that perfect book which is complete and deserving full dignity and deserving respect so dignity and respect is inbuilt meaning classical meanings of the word zalika so you can you can translate like this and i i i i prefer this translation because it gives us a little deeper meanings of the quranic arabic let me say it again i'm translating zalik al kitab this is that perfect book which is complete and deserving full dignity and deserving full respect let me translate another way another translation same same word uh, same sentence zalik al kitab i can translate this is that book which possesses all the excellences all the excellences that a complete and perfect book should possess that's the message that's the meaning zalik al kitab this is that book which possesses all the excellences so all the excellences is the meaning of zalika this is that book which possesses all the excellences that a complete and perfect book should possess let me translate the third way another way with another meaning in built this is that book of honor honor so honor is also the meaning of zalika when zalika is being used for something that something is is of honor and dignity 
so I can translate. This is that book of honor and dignity which has promised to you in the previous scriptures, that book. This is that book of honor and dignity which was promised to you in the previous scriptures of Moses and Jesus. So that's the message. This is the beautiful message in one word. Zalikal Kitab. This is that book of honor and dignity which was promised to you in the previous scriptures of Moses and Jesus. May Allah's blessings be upon all the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I just wanted to give you the four shades of meaning. Uh, maybe I missed one. <clears throat> yes. Zalik al Kitab. This is that book of guidance. This is that book which you prayed for. You prayed for in Surah Al Fatiha. Before, just before this, this verse, chapter 2, verse 2, there is a chapter 1, Surah Al Fatiha. So we have been praying in Surah Al Fatiha, the most beautiful prayer. The most perfect prayer, Al Fatiha. So we have been praying multiple times a day, Alhamdulillah, in Surah Al Fatiha. Idna Sirat al Mustaqim, Idna Sirat al Mustaqim, Idna Sirat al Mustaqim. We have been seeking and beseeching help of guidance. So Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is saying, I have listened to your prayer of Surah Al Fatiha. And this is the book. This is that book of guidance which you prayed for in Surah Al Fatiha. So that's another beautiful way of linking Surah Al Fatiha with chapter 2, the next chapter, and verse 2 Zalik al Kitabu la So let me. Summarize. <clears throat> In summary, Zalika is an address to the book of dignity, the book of distinction, the book which is holy, is full of honor, is a book of loftiness, and a book which is worthy. Of respect. This is the message. In one word, Zalika. So let's. I'm talking to the people who who who, who wants to criticize Al Islam, who wants to criticize Al Quran. They they think they are scholars of Arabic. They think they know better. So my humble presentation today is an appeal to those of us or to those of the people who, who wants to criticize or who do not fully understand intentionally or unintentional. We all Muslims have the responsibility to understand our Quran to the best of our abilities. And our Quran tells us the best way, the best way to understand our Quran is to look within ourselves, to look within our nafs, within our kalb, within our hearts, and purify our nafs, purify ourselves, purify our hearts. The more we purify our hearts and our souls by leading righteous lives, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises with us that Allah will become our teacher, Allah will guide us, Allah will educate us. Allah is going to give us the meanings, the message behind his final revelation, which was given to our holy prophet, Khatum al-Nabijin, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Al-Quran says, La yamassuhu ilal mutahiroon. You cannot even touch it. You cannot even touch it. 
unless you are purified. It has two meanings. You cannot physically touch Al Quran unless you have done. You are purified physically. In other words, if you if you are purified, if you have done the wuzul, yes, that's true. But it has a deeper meaning. La yamasahu. You cannot even touch the meanings of Al Quran. You cannot even touch the message of Al Quran. La yamasahu ilal mutahirun unless you are mutahirun. You are purified within yourself. The higher level of purification, the higher level of understanding of Al Quran. La yamasuhu ilal mutahirun. You cannot even touch the meanings of Al Quran unless you have purified yourself by leading righteous lives. The higher the level of our taqwa, the higher the level of our taqwa. The higher the level of our purification, the higher will be the level of our understanding. And the message of our Quran is so deep. The message of every word of our Quran is so beautiful that the higher the level of our taqwa, the higher will be our understanding. I'm thinking of another verse of our Quran and I'm going to finish. Verse says, Uttakullaha, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uttakullaha, yollimukullah. Uttakullaha, do taqwa for Allah. Do taqwa for Allah. Then what will happen? Allah, Al-Quran says, Uttakullaha, wa yollimukullah. The result will be that Allah will teach you. Yollimukullah. Allah will, will, will teach you, will give you the ilm, will give you the knowledge. He will be the is the source of knowledge, and his source can be utilized to the best of our capabilities based on the best of our taqwa. Uttakullaha yollimukullah. Alhamdulillah, we pray to God Almighty Allah, and we pray with the sincerity of our hearts. To help us and reward us and guide us based on our sincere efforts, based on our sincere taqwa. And inshallah, Allah's promise is a is a is a must promise. Allah that never goes against his promise. It is we. It is we, our side of the promise, our side of the responsibility, our side of, of, of taqwa, which is going to trigger the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are going to, I'm going to end with a Quranic prayer. And when I pray this prayer, oh, I pray and I I pray in the context of the current difficulties our our family our human family is going through these difficulties of this covid-19 virus in this context I pray to almighty Allah for protection and we say astaghfirullah rabbi and we say, There is no, no power to protect ourselves against any difficulties, including the difficulty of the virus. All the powers rest with Allah. So we pray to Allah, O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, protect us and give us the power. You are the source of power. Give us the spava so that we can protect ourselves against the hidden enemies, again against the open enemies, against anything which hurts us. So, so we pray to Allah. Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambin wa tubala. And we pray. And I close 
with this prayer of chapter 6, verse 162 of Al-Quran. Kul, inna salati wa nusaki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. Surely my prayer and my sacrifice and my life and my death, my living and my dying, my life and my death are all for the sake of Allah, who is Rabbul Alameen, who is the creator, who is my Rabb, who is my Lord, who is my creator, who is my sustainer, who is my guardian evolver to perfection. And who is the Rabbul Alameen? He is the Rabb of all sources of knowledge, all types of knowledge. He is our Rabb regarding all the universe. He is the Rabb of all universe. Everything created, He is the Rabb, Rabbul Alameen. Amin, Summa Amin. Assalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.